What's up YouTube? This is CJ and Sarah. It's a Wednesday and that means it's time for another Keto Conversation. So let's get started. This week, this is a really short Keto Conversation. Uh, it's going to be uh, a bit sweet and that was your cue. <laughs> now that you know what I'm talking about and yeah. a bit tangy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweet and tart. <laughs> This stuff is unrehearsed. <laughs> I'm sweet and he's tart. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> Yin and yang right here. That's probably true. I can be a bit tart sometimes. Um, but we basically wanted to include this because, yeah. I mean, we did you, we did make a cranberry sauce to do our cranberry cheesecake, but not everyone is into yeah. cheesecake, so, so this it might is, not have been seen. So we're making a individual video for cranberry sauce, uh, sugar-free or no sugar added. Right, because you will be watching this sauce. the day before Thanksgiving, so, so it still gives you the opportunity to prepare it. Yeah, if you would so, like. um, you know, it's a very easy recipe. Something Fresh, that, very yeah, fresh. Very fresh. Something that's been on the bag of cranberries for years, except yes. we're adding uh, natural sweeteners versus right. regular sugar. Right. We also have a keto gravy recipe that's on the blog. I'm pretty sure that's a blog only recipe. Uh, so and now we have the cranberry sauce. So again, we're giving you options for how you can stay as keto as possible for uh, for Thanksgiving. We hope that everybody has a great Thanksgiving and enjoy it with your your family, and your friends, and loved ones. And eat lots of keto food. And if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, we still appreciate you being here. We hope that you have a great holiday or just a great day. We do have people that aren't. There is no Thanksgiving in we Australia. We have people that are all over the world. So we love you anyway, Australian subscribers. Yeah, Thank you. So um, you guys have a great day if you're not Australia. <laughs> so um, have a great spring, almost summer day. I'm super jealous. Is <laughs> it spring and summer? Yes, almost? they are going. Really? They have Christmas and summer. Oh wow. Yes, they are okay. the opposite of the United States. Well, so all right. So all, all of our viewers in Australia, we hope you have a great nice, sunny day. Sunny day. <laughs> if you're in Europe. What do, what do they celebrate in Europe? I think there's Thanksgiving in Europe. Is there? I think so. Okay. But so. our European subscribers will have to uh, let us know. Yeah. So we, uh, we appreciate everybody that watches our channel. And we just wanted to say Happy Thanksgiving. And hope you enjoy this recipe. It's really easy. And you can go out and grab this stuff before Thanksgiving if you want to give it a try. So thanks for watching. We hope that you have a great rest of the week. And if you just happen upon this video, this is our Keto Conversation segment. We don't normally have recipe videos on Wednesday. No, sometimes special occasions yeah, or holidays we'll do that. But we normally talk about relevant keto topics. Uh, this week's a little different. So consider subscribing if you want to uh, check out what we have in the future. I think you just started... Um, I started another seasonal series for the month of December. Christmas yeah. recipes. So Christmas recipes are coming. First one's coming this week. So definitely hit the bell so and that you'll know when those go up. Yeah, so I've got to edit that video. We've already got it done. And you don't want to miss that uh, Christmas themed recipes for the next four weeks. Yes. So thanks for being here. Have a happy Thanksgiving and we will talk at you later. Bye bye. Peace. Peace. So to start, you're going to need fresh cranberries. Um, they usually come in 12 ounce sizes. Sometimes you can find them in the great big bag. But generally 12 ounces is the size that you'll be able to find this time of year and really cranberries can only be found in their fresh state between now and the end of the year um, sometimes places will have them frozen i know that trader joe's carries them frozen so if you wanted to buy some frozen to make this you know at other times during the year that is an option or you could of course blanch and freeze these yourself but you do want a fresh product and that's what we're starting with so I'm going to open this bag and I'm going to rinse them. That is what the directions on the bag say to do. So I'm going to open this and rinse it in my colander. All right, into our saucepan. I have an eight quart saucepan here that I'm going to be using. To sweeten this, I'm going to be using Sucrin Gold and I need three quarters of a cup or three quarters of a cup of sucrine gold in there. You could use regular white natural sweetener if that's what you preferred, but I like the little bit of 
carameliness that the sucre and gold provides for the cranberry sauce. Now I need equal parts of water. So I'm going to be putting three quarters of a cup of water in. Now the next thing that I'm going to be putting in is a little bit of ground allspice. Allspice is a berry that grows in the tropics, but it has a very nice deep flavor to it. If you don't prefer allspice, you could put cloves in here, you could do cinnamon, or you could omit this entirely if you don't care for that seasoning. Now I'm also going to be adding some orange zest. I really like the way that the orange brings out the flavor of the cranberry. The citrus lends to the sweetness. It also assists in keeping the cranberries a really bright red color. If you don't care for orange, you do not have to use orange zest. You could use lemon zest. You could omit zest altogether, but I happen to really enjoy it. So I'm just going to zest my orange into the cranberries. And I just have a microplane here, in case you're wondering. It's linked in our Amazon favorites. I had a um, fine grater before this and it was not very desirable. There is definitely a difference in microplanes. This one is not cost prohibitive, but it does work much better. Now when zesting, you want to try and just remove the orange part of the fruit. See how I'm reserving it and I'm not getting into the pithy white part of the orange because that can tend to be bitter and we don't really want that. So try to just get the colored parts of your fruit. Just rotating your orange to get the actual peel and not the pith. All of the flavor of citrus fruit is actually located in the rind. That's where all the oils are housed. So you're actually getting all the flavor of the fruit without needing to use the fruit itself. And you'll see that more of the zest collects within the microplane. So I just take my finger. I don't know why our smart device thought we were talking to her, but we aren't. Now I'm going to put the heat on this and you want this about medium, medium high. I'm going to give it a good stir to incorporate all of our sweetener, water, and zest. On about medium high, probably in between six and seven if your stove is numbered. If not, it's about medium high. Now I'm just going to give this a little stir so that everything incorporates. So as this starts to simmer, it's going to start to make noise and that's what you want for your cranberry sauce. You're going to know that it's done when they all start to kind of pop open. They'll make a popping sound, almost like popcorn. And then you will know that it is almost nearing completion. You need to cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then after they've popped and you hear those sounds, we're just gonna let it sit there for a few more minutes because the natural pectin in the fruit will continue to thicken to make your cranberry sauce. Hi CJ. Hi. It's time for some cranberry sauce. Yep. Yay for Thanksgiving. Homemade cranberry sauce. Okay, give it a taste. Let us know what you think. Oh. It's uh, really fresh. Um, it's got kind of a sweet, sour kind of taste going on. So it's not like that purple jelly from a can. Mm -mm. Also, I taste the orange zest as well. No, it's good. It's a little fancier than what I've made in the past, but it's good. I think people will like it. Good. If they like fresh cranberries. Yep, we'll be taking it to our gathering, because I do. I don't know. I've made fresh cranberries even before we were doing keto, so. It's I, not that hard. No, but it's, I don't know. It's probably something that people, it's a taste you have to acquire. So, I like them. And it's good to know that these are uh, basically 
no sugar added because there's some sugar with the just with the cranberries. Right. So good job. Thank you. Bye.